So as Mazza is wearing her slippers and uh, she's just walked through a mole <laughs> hole and I've laughed, I'm taking you to the Hemlock Stone. Yeah. Uh, it's right in front of us, it's huge. Uh -huh. Unusual. How I'm going to make a story out of this I'm not sure but uh, we'll get closer, see what the signs say and come up with something. It does look spectacular doesn't it? Yeah, different. Very different. So this is it, the Hemlock Stone, 200 million years old. It's old, it's very old, very, 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 very old. It's made out of two different stones, have you noticed? It's black at the top and it's like pinky sandstone at the bottom. Now, when this was, this used to be around, right? When we think, when there were dinosaurs and reptiles running around here, how cool would that have looked, eh? Now there's no hard evidence, as I've just read on the sign, there's no hard evidence that the Celts who came over here in 500 BC, you obviously knew that because you're not stupid, there's no hard evidence that they ever used this, but it's perfect to use ceremony, ceremonies around, you know, use it for ceremonies and go, mm, you know, like monks and druids and stuff do, they walk like that with big hoods on, go, mm, and they walk around things like this, so they probably did use it, but there's no evidence to suggest that is the case. Just another little feature, which is at the Hemlock Rock. Lovely little seat here. This side, it's got like a fire, it's got logs there and a fire. Got some weird writing underneath there. And what I can only describe as a penis there, but I don't know what that's supposed to be. If anyone's got any better ideas, please let me know. Lovely little symbol there, can you see that, Mazzy? Beautiful. So, the stone, nobody really knows how it got here. They don't know if it has been here 200 million years old, uh, ago. They don't know if it's been carved into that shape more recently. There was a quarry nearby, I don't know when, a few hundred years ago maybe. And they're not sure if the quarrymen actually did it as, you know, said this is our quarry. You know, like an entrance to the quarry or something might be to do with that. They've had drones up in the air and taken like radar of it and everything. Still nobody knows. Which annoys me a little bit to be honest with you. You know all these people go to university, they think they're better than us, they think they're great, they're learning all this archaeology and geology and all this stuff and nobody can tell us why that rock's there, how long it's been there, who put it there. I think that's ridiculous. So, as I'm sure you've already worked out, it's 28 foot tall, because I'm 6 foot tall, you've obviously layered it and said, yeah, that's about 28 foot. It is, you're right. Now, there is a myth attached to this, and it involves the devil himself. Woohoo! The devil. Right, the devil, right, there was a priory. I need my notes for this, hang on. Uh, Lenton Priory, which is nearby, there was a devil, and he hated listening to the damn priests and monks or whatever lived there, doing all the prayers and stuff, it used to do his head in because he's devil. Anything like that makes his skin crawl. You know like when you put your, your nails down a chalkboard, that's what it sounded like to the devil. So anyway, this devil, some say were a giant as well, a giant devil. I didn't know you could have different types of devil, but there you go. Um, he lived in Castleton, right, in Derbyshire, next county on. And he got so fed up of listening to this racket he grabbed this massive stone and he legged it to the priory, trying to land it on the priory to shut them all up once and for all. He missed. He missed. You know the stone he threw? That's it. That's the stone. That's how it landed and it's been there ever since. Now, I can confirm that isn't true. Okay, and I'll tell you why. Because they don't have this kind of stone where that giant was throwing the stone from in Castleton. So that's a load of rubbish. So why the keep, it's been proven to be rubbish, so why are they still putting it on signs and telling people about it? Why am I telling you about it? It's of no interest to anybody because it isn't true. Let's just erase that from all the history books, all the signs, and just call it a stone, yeah? Locals even suggest that it is a meteorite, part of a giant meteorite which landed here, which must be rubbish. If they've done tests on it, they'll know if it's from Britain, from, in, from Earth or not, wouldn't they? So I think you can rule that out. But in all seriousness, in all seriousness though, if you take a good close look at it, 
It just does look amazing how it's a soft sandstone at the bottom which has eroded away over the years. Much harder rock at the top which has stayed thicker. But that isn't going to last long. Down here we've noticed that somebody has been uh, graffitiing on the soft sandstone. You can see some initials in there. Which is probably why they've built this fence around it to preserve it a bit longer. But I can guarantee this will not be here for too many more years. That's going to get thinner and thinner and that boulder is going to go crashing down there and get on that road. So don't go on that road, keep your eye on how thick this is and when it gets really skinny I'd avoid that road at all costs. Anyway that's the Hemlock Stones, it is at Bramcourt Hills if you'd like to take a look at it. Thank you for joining, we'll see you very soon. Say goodbye Mazzy. Bye bye. bye.